Okay. Now that I've taken a small break, I, I'm on outset. In order to get here, you have to go close to where the Great Fairy Forest is at, where you got the first money bag. But you have to climb all the way up onto the um, rock. And then you have to look forward and then you're, you can see a small hill if you look straight ahead. You have to have the wind on your side, have the double magic meter, and float all the way over here. I'll try to demonstrate it um, a little later, but for right now, we got stuff to get. Fairies. The Savage Labyrinth. Oh, I remember this. Okay, you're gonna get to see this after all. I didn't remember if it was required or not. Basically, you fight some of everything in here. And you have very limited resources too, which kind of sucks. And wow, I'm getting beaten by a bunch of bats. This is pathetic. Okay, screw it. Yeah, you have to keep going. They do give you stuff on your way through here, which is kind of nice. Really? You're giving me these guys? Fine. I'll type with my sword if they want to go close and personal. Oh, nice. I actually need these. That's why. Unfortunately, darn it. The lock on when you're facing lots of enemies can be kind of fickle. Oh, and I wish they'd stop hurting each other. There we go. I know I can just come in here multiple times and do this, but. Eh. Oh, you're smart. It's easiest to do this once you have the true master sword, but you don't need it. You just gotta be a little more careful. And yeah, I'm just gonna slice these things because I don't need any of that red stuff. Yeah, I love the fights are easy, but don't get cocky. Some of the later floors of this place can be pretty rough. Oh boy, there's a lot of these things. Try to get them off to the side so that you can take them off one at a time. Do never, I repeat, never take them on all at once. You will get your butt kicked. You can use parry attacks, but I prefer just to hit them in the eye. They're not completely sadistic though, because they do give you health rooms, eventually. Sorry if I'm being disoriented, but it seems like every time I do anything, 
when um, both my parents are laying down, they always call me. Which means I have to constantly... Wait, what the heck? There you are. What the crap? Jeez, everything is trying to annoy me today. Oh wow, really? Okay, that I didn't know about. Interesting. You can actually hit them in the eye with your boomerang and knock them into their little ball form. Much safer. Granted, you don't get the boomerang till you don't really have to deal with these guys much anymore, but hey. Nice to know regardless. Oh, great. Dark room. Darn it. I really do need these joy pendants. And you can also steal hearts from them, which can be helpful later on. I mean, you don't need to, but... If you're not feeling confident, then by all means, try. This may take a whole video, though, be just because of how long it is. Oh, hello. Whoa! Not exactly sure why the first time um, surprises them, but the other times don't. But whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Huh. This is also a decent place to get rubies, if you don't mind the constant monster encounters. Because you get a lot of them. Unfortunately, the Isle of Steel is still technically better. Because you can go in and out pretty quick. But, I, I, to have to be honest, it does get boring, so... Tch, wow. These guys are so weak with the boomerang. If you want going feathers, you can steal quite a, quite a few of those here as well. Seriously, just these. Come on, there we go. Now look, I'm looking at a ceiling, and I don't see any of them on the ceiling, so... Okay, what's going on? Okay, what the crap, really? Alright, let's go. Let me guess. The plants? Yep. Oh, wow. Well, that's definitely the easiest way to go about doing it. I've also noticed that I haven't really been collecting bottles that much. There's supposed to be four, yet you know, yeah, I only have one. That's... Kind of lame.
Yeah, I try to be careful here. There we go. That's all I care about. And now it's easy. Yeah, ironically, stealing from them makes them hard. Yeah, try and figure that one out. This one, you definitely want to use the boomerang on them. Or not. Okay. Oh, never mind. It was the flying ones you want to use the boomerang on. Okay. I forgot about that. Yeah, fighting them without the boomerang is the hard part. Thankfully, you only have to do that once. And this is a major boomerang room. Unless you steal from enemies though, you don't really get any items. Which kind of sucks. Come on. There we go. Ah. I should have known there was a trick to that. You know what? I'm not using the sail right now. Oh, snap! Well, you want to get close and personal, didn't you? On a side note, someone did give me a request. After seeing... Uh, or after hearing about... Um, how awesome Fall Fantasy Tactics story is... Uh, my friend, Alana, wants me to... Show off the story scenes in the game. She also might want me to do a full playthrough of the game, though we'll have to see. I don't know if she'll be able to actually sit through all those long battles, but we'll see about that. And no, you can't carry those previous weapons to another room with you. Yeah, this room can be a little tricky, because they like to rush you. Let's see. Oh yeah. 30, that's great. I shouldn't need more than 50, though 40 is probably what it's going to be. This is what you... There we go. There we go. Okay. If you keep stunning it, it can't do much of anything. Though these things stay annoying. Ah, get off me. Oh, nice, another treasure room. They also give you hearts in case you need them. But I'm going to keep going further in. 
Just cause I'm that awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, these guys aren't that threatening. Just watch out for their fire attacks. Oh, crap. Ah. That was cheap. I don't know where you can steal from them, because I don't think I've ever tried. If I see them again, I'll try it. Oh, great. It's easier to do this with bows and arrows, I think, but... I'm feeling chintzy, so... Oh, jeez. Oh, can I steal from you? Yes, I can. Oh, and you can steal arrows. And bombs. And that's it. I'm actually surprised they let you do that. They don't look like you could be able to steal from them, because they're armor. But... Okay. Oh, big arrows. That's okay though, I got plenty of bombs. You don't even need to waste bombs because they give you some. These last few rooms have been pretty simple, actually. I'm kind of shocked. Oh, more of these? Okay. Oh, never mind. Not what I thought. Haha, <laughs> I still got you. I think the yellow ones only appear here for some reason. They're not any more threatening than their ilk, though. Just take them out. Choo choos, that's what they're called. I swear, for the life of me, I could not remember their name the other day. And it really annoyed me a bit. Oh, great. These aren't the bad ones, though. They're once again immune to the boomerang, though. Very annoying. I don't really know what fire does to you exactly. It's not really clear. In the previous games, it burned your shield. But the shield in this game can't be burned, so that can't be it. It's weird. Oh! Brother. Oh, well, I took one hit. I don't care. It's better just to get this guy with you one-on-one. -on -one.
I wanted... Darn it. Okay, you're being a jerk. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, these guys stay the most threatening creatures in here. <laughs> For sure. Oh, 21 minutes in, wow. This may take two videos. Oh! Magic. Okay, go after them first. May not seem that logical, but trust me, you're going to want to get rid of these things as soon as you possibly can. And yeah, they're immune to that. I am curious, though. How easy are these things to hit with bows and arrows? It, it paralyzes them. Can I wake you up? I really want those items you have. There we go. I was hoping for a heart, but okay, whatever. Oh, I get it. You have to get the arrow out. Oh, okay. So far, that has been the most interesting enemy I've faced in this game. But I'll have to... Okay, guys, hold on a little bit, because my time is running low.